In this module, we shall uh, state an important result regarding indices of subgroups. Let's consider first an example. Find the right cosets of the uh, subgroup H, which contains identity element g raised to power 4, g raised to power 8 in cyclic group of order 12, which contains E, G up to so on, G raised to power 11. यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हैं कि हमने multiplicative notation में cyclic group लिया है, इससे पहले हम Z12 को consider कर चुके हैं additive notation के अंदर. तो यहाँ पर आप elements multiplicative notations में देख सकते हैं, और यहाँ पर हमने G जो है वो general form में elements लिए हुए हैं. अब आपके पास जो right को, क्योंकि total 12 elements हैं, और coset के अंदर three elements हैं तो अब आप बता सकते हैं कि index की value क्या होगी order of g over order of h that is 12 over 3 which is 4 it means that we shall obtain four cosets h is the subgroup itself this is the one right coset which is uh, right or left coset if we multiply h with identity element e or if we multiply h with element g4 g raised to power 4 which contains in h so we shall get in this manner the coset h yani aap agar jo subgroup ke andar element hai usko uske sath coset form karenge to h aapke paas aa jayega itself subgroup itself aa jayega another coset is hg G is not belongs to H, so we have a different set which contains G, G raised to power 5, G raised to power 9. Now, if you choose a core element, then you can choose H, then you can belong to H, then you can choose 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 H, so, आप G square ले सकते हैं. If we take G square and we shall get H G square equal to G raised uh, G square G six and G ten. We are multiplying H with G square. Similarly, आप इसी तरह से H G cube find कर सकते हैं. और आपके पास तमाम elements जो हैं वो cover हो जाएंगे जो के group uh, C12 ke andar hai. So pick an element say G square which is not in H or HG. Our third coset is HG square which is given by G square G raised to power 6 G raised to power 10. And our fourth coset HG cube is given by G raised to power 3 G raised to power 7 G raised to power 11. और आप देख सकते हैं कि हमने h को मल्टीप्लाई की है g रेस टू पावर क्यूब से तो राइट हैंड साइड पे तो हमारे पास ये एलिमेंट्स आ गए हैं सिंस c12 इक्वल टू h यूनियन hg यूनियन hg स्क्वायर यूनियन hg क्यूब जैसा कि मालूम है ये कोसेट्स पार्टीशन पार्टीशनिंग प्रोवाइड करेंगे c12 ग्रुप की और index जो है वो आपके पास index of h in c12 is equal to 12 over 3 which is equal to 4. Now state an important result. Suppose h and k are subgroups of a group G such that k is subgroup of h, h is subgroup of G. And suppose index of k in h and g in h are both finite then index of k in g is finite and it is given by index of k 
k in g equal to index of h in g into index of k in h and the proof is obvious because in the, uh, the index of h in g is given by order of g over order of h into order of h over order of k and order of h will be cancelled so we shall get order of g over order of k so uh, in other words this theorem states that the transitive property is satisfied in the case of index of a subgroup in a group